Greetings and welcome back everyone to From the Depths and to the Heb Enu and our fortress. Our fortress is quite lackluster, it doesn't really have a name yet, and the Heb Enu doesn't really have a name yet, but at least it has more of a name than our fortress. Still, the Heb Enu has had some combat experience, and the experience has taught me one main thing, that the Heb Enu is not powerful enough for the amount of resources invested in it and came quite close to death against three small ships. Granted, it did win against three ships, so, you know, that's something, but I feel that it needs to be able to win much more convincingly, or, more to the point, needs to be able to reduce the incoming threat from such small ships. Now, I've got a couple of ideas of how to do that, but it's going to take a fair bit of work, I fancy, in the vehicle designer. Now, I had a fair bit of positive feedback on the way that I've started to uh, split up the, the vehicle design and building and the, the actual gameplay from Robocraft videos, so I think I'm going to bring that across to From the Depth, and in fact, if I'm perfectly honest with you, this was an idea I had for From the Depth first, and then I just happened to record a Robocraft episode post having that idea before I recorded another From the Depth episode, so uh, we're going to be going with that. So... For those who don't know what I'm talking about, in a moment there's going to be an annotation up on the screen somewhere that you can click. I am going to jump over to the vehicle designer in another video, and if you're interested in seeing me work and puzzle through how I'm going to improve the hair banner, then you can pause this video, click on the annotation, and come and join me, and when that's done, you can come back. If, however, you're not too interested in how I change the hair banner, but you just want to see what I change it to, when all things are said and done, then continue watching this video, and in a few seconds, we will be back with, uh, well, we, I won't actually be back with a new hair banner, but we will be back to start building one or retrofitting this one. So, see you in a couple of seconds. And welcome back to our new ship being slowly reconstructed. I had to do a little bit of work, as you may notice. We needed a lot of crystals for this. So, and I didn't want to pass too much time without you uh, here, just in case the uh, enemies attacked. So I built a lot of crystal farms, in addition to the tiny little one that I've got in there with the ammo, just so that we could get the crystals together. And the crystals are going to be needed for a laser system. But before we get ahead of ourselves... As you can see, the Hair Banu has changed quite a lot. We have moved the missile system to a laser designated system instead. We have also got laser systems, though during the uh, vehicle design I hadn't yet unlocked the laser defense systems. I have actually gone ahead and unlocked those between the time that I finished the uh, design video and returned here. So in this video, the very first thing we're going to do is finish off the laser defense system, but it looks like the uh, ship has been finished, so let me give you the tour of the Sobek. Now, just to cover something I explained in the design video, with regards to naming the vessels, I think we're going to keep with the mythological creature kind of theme that we had going, but this is going to be the name for the class, the, the hull of the vehicle. And although that is, this isn't the case with the Sobek, I've designed more or less the entirety of the Sobek in vehicle design. What I'm looking to do for the remainder of this Let's Play is, generally speaking, I'll design the hull in the vehicle designer, and then we'll be coming back to the campaign to add the weapon systems and other things like that. So I'll build the hulls with a mind leaving hard point. Um, for attaching weapons to. And then each new uh, instance of that hull will be armed, possibly in a different way. Maybe I'll have like sub-objects so I can quickly re-equip it with similar weapons if I want that. The AI might be set up slightly differently. So basically each vessel will have a little bit more uniqueness to it, even though it'll be based off the same hull design. So if I, if I suddenly find out, oh well, you know what, I need a different type of missile system here, maybe torpedoes, then I could, I could look at re-equipping uh, the Sobek uh, hull with a torpedo system. Again, I probably won't do that with the Sobek specifically because I've more or less built the entire thing in the vehicle designer. But moving forward, that will be the idea. But let's quickly have a tour. So let me get down there. So as you can see, we've got shields, four in total, two covering the missile bays, one covering the nose, and one covering the all-important bridge there. We have laser designation. So instead of having heat-seeking missiles, we're going to be uh, trying to designate them. I'm very concerned about this. I don't know how well this is going to work 
in regards to these lasers working below the waterline and close to it when I have other ships around. I'm not sure the Sobek is going to play well with others, but we have a way into our bridge now. It's basically a tiny little shoebox of a bridge, but we can now get in and out, which, you know, is, is a big enhancement, I feel. Let me back out, please. No, no. See, I said I could get back out. Damn it. Right. Now, as for the laser systems, these are not offensive weapons. These are going to be exclusively for defensive um, uses. So we're going to have laser um, defense points on this, as well as laser missile warner systems. But before we get down to that, in fact, let's go ahead and actually christen this ship, because whilst the class, the, the name of the hull is going to be selected by me from suggestions in the comments, the name of the ships will be selected from the master name list by Chaotocles, except for the very first one. Now, as I've mentioned, quite a few people suggested Sobek as a potential for this vessel, even as early as episode two. So two episodes ago now. But I believe the first person to suggest it was Eric Martin. So in their honor, we shall name the very first instance of the Sobek after them. There we go. The HMS. Eric Martin has been christened. Now, to uh, get back to the building, let me actually get into the bridge, come to think of it. It's safer in there. Damn it. No, no, in the bridge. Ah. Oh. This is the problem with having a tiny little bridge. Right, okay, so we want to build. Now then. These things cost a fair bit. Those lasers cost an enormous amount, though we're already back up to 800 crystal. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, we want the mirror line first and foremost. Let's drop that down. And now if we go over here, we should be able to find lasers. A laser missile defense. Uh, we actually want the laser warning system. Hmm. Laser missile defense connects onto the multipurpose laser and uses beams when necessary to shoot down incoming missiles. Use AI missile warner components to spot the missiles. Ah, yes, that's the, that is the AI. It has been so long since I've played this game, my lord. Right, let's look up there. We are going to not color these at all. I want these to be... Well, actually, you know what? Maybe we could afford to color them. Hmm. No, I, I think we, we actually want them to be their natural colour. So we'll have three down each side. That should be more than enough to deal with incoming missiles. These lasers are no slouches. We'll uh, just check out their power on them. They can reach to a range of 3,471 with a damage of 306 and an AP of 4. I mean, it's not built for taking on ships, so the AP isn't as important. It's the range and the damage, so that a single hit will hopefully take out a missile, so we don't have to rely on just spamming them quite so much. Uh, there's a few things I need to change in terms of prettying this up again, but uh, that I will do all off camera, and I'll adjust the uh, base Sobek hull. Uh, right, the next thing, we are actually going to need missile warners. Now, they are going to be very, very important. Uh, right, so AI, laser uh, missile warner and laser warner. We don't want the laser warner. Well, maybe we do, but the missile warners are what we're going to be building. Right, the missile warner component spots missiles within a hemispherical field of view. Use a laser missile defense block to shoot them down. Requires line of sight to the missile to spot them. Does not detect missiles that are below half a meter above sea level. So, putting one facing forward, not really that useful. All things told, because it'll be underneath the waterline. So, what we really want is that's the shield so we want this about there i would say pointing forward yeah so we would have one there and possibly another one over here maybe or maybe one up near the bridge possibly one over here actually yeah i kind of like that idea where's the ai down here the ai is right there as well uh, I could just connect straight up. Hmm. It might be worth it. I mean, this one can just be connected directly onto this AI if, if it is my desire. And I'm thinking about it, certainly. But at the same time, I could just have two over here. Or even one up there. That is actually a block that isn't doing anything. So, yeah, we could have this one here. Okay, I like that. Right, we'll go for AI connector. 
build that down there. Oh, no, no, no. What did I just do? Yeah, yeah, six way connector. Really? They look like that now? He gets. Let's uh, color that in. And then go for the missile warner itself. No, 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 no. What's going on? There we go. There we are. And we want that really. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that the mirror line had gone. I was like, no! I remembered it this time, you scallywag. Don't take that away from me. Alright, so we want one down, and we'll take this away. Ah, okay, so that is part of the area back here. The bridge. So we'll just quickly flesh that out. There we go. And then we can get back to building these down. We'll allow these to be black until here. Then we'll bring it out of that. Uh, the AI is just down there, so we need another one, two. There we go. So those ones are just connected directly to the AI. We don't actually require an aimpoint algorithm or anything like that on this. This is not controlling any weapon systems. This is purely controlling our laser defense. And the next one, which we put all the way down the front, that will have to be hooked up via a... Oh, I could put an AI there, come to think of it. And it may be a little bit more useful to do so. Um, sure. Actually, we will do that. So we'll have an AI mainframe right there. That will be controlling this one. There we are. And so all we need to do now, and then the Sobek is completely finished, as far as I'm going to be doing it anyway, unless we desperately need to uh, make some adjustments to it. I think everything is ready. Is the Sobek ready? It is a stupidly expensive vessel, considering what we started out. It only has one weapon system. That is a bit of a concern. I am contemplating, since we've kind of made all of this room down here, adding some simple torpedo systems onto the sides, just beneath those pontoon sorts of things, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if, if we need it. But for now, I'm fairly happy with the Sobek as it is. We're going to... Ah, drat. I christened you, and now I need to save you again. I really, really do wish that would stop. Right, so, saver of the Sobek. There we go. That goes up to version 6 now, and I need to rechristen this. So the HMS Eric Martin. There we go. And I think on that note, we're going to have another. Uh, let, let, me, let, me th let me through. Yes. No. I said you would let me out. Stop showing me up, you scallywag. Right. There we are. Now, release the Sobek. Uh, the HMS Eric Martin. There we go. Right, well, Eric Martin can be on combat. Apply all of those on. Don't, don't, no, no, what, why? Why? Can't you go around? Hmm, okay, fine. Uh, you can't trust these ships. You really can't. Right, we want to make another Sobek, and then we are going to... Ooh, it's only Sobek version 5. Okay. Uh, default blueprint is built there. Hold until... 75% complete. Spawn distance of... 30, I think. There we go. Load. Fantastic. We're getting another Sobek. Then we're going to have two. We can send them out. Claim more territories. I am very surprised that the Deepwater Guard have not come to try and deal with us. I'll be honest there. That has surprised me quite a lot. Right. Forces. I would like you. You're your own fleet, which is good. This one needs to leave that fleet. And then start merge. There we go. You shall be in this fleet. Now, of course, we're going to need another name. But I'll wait for the, the ship to be finished first. I actually really do like the look of this ship. 
the slightly less intense black has really grown on me. I, I think I much prefer it, actually. Uh, though I am quite concerned about taking... <laughs> A lot of a lot of crystal has been invested in these these anti missile systems, and they are completely untested. I have no idea if this is going to do what it needs to do. But uh, it seems that we're uh, lacking a little bit on metal, which is a bit of a pain. So this one's going to be being built for a little while, it would seem. Things are exploding on the inside. That is never good. Why things are exploding on the inside, I have no idea. But uh, oh. It looks like it was the repair robots. Why they were exploding, I haven't the foggiest, honestly, but uh, they were. Nevertheless, I think it's time that uh, the Eric Martin go over here. Of course, the uh, we don't want to take the whole fleet out. If we set you up to fleet move, you should go there on your own. Or, or not. You might get stuck. Oh, are you going there? Okay, that's not your engine. It's it's the new Sobex engine. Okay. Well, we're going to allow Eric Martin to make its way over there. And I am going to pause the recording here while we wait for the new Sobek to be built. And whilst the Eric Martin is making its way over there, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't immediately get killed. Because I sent it out on its own because I was impatient. Hmm... Welcome back. It seems we have an enemy fleet moving in. We've got the Hopperlite and the Antlion moving in. Um, they are deep water guard. Now, the new Sobek, fair way off completion at the moment. Only currently at 79%. We are really hurting for basic materials, that is uh, metal primarily. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hop over to the Eric Martin, warp to the chair and allow my camera to slowly make its way over there. It has been kind of awesome to watch this be online the whole way over here. Although I wouldn't, you know, I've kept recording just to, to keep you here watching me follow this with my binoculars, but it was kind of awesome. Without doubt. Ooh, right, right. Where are the enemies? Okay, they're going up there. They do not engage their thrusters now until they've been in the sky for a little bit. They've got a 1.5 second delay on their thrusters engaging. Are my lasers going to try and take that out? Or are those too close to the water? It looks like they're too close to the water. Now, the laser systems are significantly more powerful than they used to be. Let's have a quick look. We have got the Wasp Mark 1, which is a short-range thruster. Engages after 1.5 seconds because they get launched so high. Four fuel tanks, which means it has a much extended range. One fragmentation warhead and three explosive warheads as well as a laser designator. Now, we took a solid below there, probably from a torpedo, I'm imagining. And that has taken out one side of our designators, which is a bit of a shame. But never mind, we've already won this fight. And we are fast work putting everything back together. Thankfully, all of the materials we got from that are funding our reconstruction. I'm seeing secondary explosions all over the place. I'm not liking that at all. You know what? The other thing we need to do is we need to set this up properly to make use of the new range. So I want you to engage things at about 950. That's your maximum range from now on. Are we fixed? Are we good? Uh, the drones are still fixing a couple of things. And we have used up all of the metal resources. So that, that's a bit of a shame. But uh, on the whole, pretty happy with that fight, to be perfectly honest. And looking over there, is that a resource ring? Hmm. Can't tell. Let's bring you out a little bit and continue exploring in that direction down there. Uh, in fact, at this point, we can probably afford to pull everyone out of play and speed time up a little bit. Now, this is really where I would like to be able to get to, where I actually have fleets that I know exactly what they're capable of, what they, they should be used for, and I can deploy them on the strategic map, kind of like more like an RTS. I would really love to get to that point and then just kind of zoom in for the actual battles themselves so I can observe them. Or not, if I know what will happen and I can just watch the uh, missiles flying instead. Now, are there any resource zones around here? It doesn't look like. I think the next thing that we're going to be working on is a satellite. Now, instead of a stationary uh, structure, 
I am going to take the advice that I've been given by a lot of people, and that is to go for an actual satellite setup. Um, not specifically a, a space-borne satellite, so I guess a satellite's the wrong thing. More like a weather balloon, really. But just attach a bunch of balloons and a radar dish. And just have that be something I can deploy wherever I want to go and just shoot it up into a, a zone. Ooh, here we are, resource zone. Yes. That is something that we want to play with. All right, let's bring you into play. Let's also bring these guys into play as well. Is everyone in play? I think so. Now, this might be fun. Let's see, what have we got? Sinner's Outpost. Mm. Might not be that wise for me to play with, but uh, we're going to try anyway. Let's uh, jump down right... Ooh, we've got a lot of enemies in the distance there. An awful lot of enemies in the distance. Alright, that's kind of scary. I'll admit. I'm a little bit afraid of that. That's getting quite close here. And see what we can do. Uh, you should be set up to... I want you on combat mode, not fleet move. You should now engage... Oh, ye gads, a lot of enemies inbound. Okay, maybe that was possibly a bad move. Yes, I think it was, right. Fleet move. Get out of there. Let's pull back. We don't want to fight all of this at the same time. Drakes. Lots of drakes. A whole bombing wing of drakes. I... I have... Underestimated you, Deporter Guard. And for this, I apologize. Ah, uh, Eric Martin, I fear you're about to, uh, be dead. <laughs> right, let's get up there. Let's uh, unhook ourselves from the camera so we can watch this properly. How are those missiles doing? We've got an inbound missile. Ah, oh, my laser's trying to shoot it down. They're not trying to shoot it down. That is ungood. Now, I was under the impression that the laser designation system would take care of that by itself. Does not appear to be the case. I thought I only needed to hook that up to AI and then this would just... F it would fire the uh, lasers on its own. But uh, apparently, no. Well, we're going to see how well you can do whilst under fire then. Oh no, there we are. They were firing there. Yeah, they are actually firing. I take it back. I was right. They're just not firing too often, which is not so great. Right, how are you doing? You're not doing too badly, actually, considering how much you're fighting. Inbound missile. Oh, no. You're choosing a new target. I really wish you would just select one target and stick with it. You're coming under fire, but your shields are holding, by the looks of it. And missiles are inbound. Direct hit. Very, very good. You're still kind of unsure where you need to be shooting your missiles, which is a bit of an issue. Okay, well, you've taken one down by the looks of it. And you've got enough resources right now that with me on board, we should be able to maintain the repairs. But this is quite a chaotic fight. I'm fairly certain we wouldn't have been able to have a fight like this if I didn't have the uh, amount of blocks allowed in a battle up as high as I do. So, you know, there is that. Bingo! That's what you get for flying over the ship that's launching missiles, you fool. You weren't even my my target. I'll accept it, though. But okay, we've... How much damage have we taken? Not too much, actually. Not too much. 98%. Okay. Missiles away. Inbound directly overhead. And my lasers are trying to do something, at the very least. I'm not sure what they're trying to do, but they're trying to do it. What are you trying to shoot at? Well, he's quite far away. Of course, these guys are actually really close, so I'm not sure you're trying to engage them, are you? Ah, oh, okay. We'll quickly address that, then. Let's get in there. We've got to be fast. I'm going to remove temporarily your minimum engagement range. I'm going to bring that down to 25. There we go. Pick your targets. Do your best. Ooh, it's a lot of damage coming in now. 
Where is your current target? You are designating all sorts of targets now. Let's get out a little bit so that it's not so loud. Also, I should be on the bino so I don't accidentally blow myself up in the middle there. Okay, two damage being despawned. Okay, you've got one down. So back. Uh, sorry, Eric Martin, considering you're on your own against quite a lot of ships, actually, they are proper swarming you. I am remarkably impressed with what you're doing. And, ah, uh, you just missed. Never mind. Designate another one then. How are we doing down there? We're taking a bit of damage. One shield has gone down. No, no, shield's back up. Ammo is our problem at the moment. We have depleted our rather enormous ammo stocks. Launch the missiles! Make them count, every single one. And direct hit. Perfect. That was absolutely glorious. And it does look like the lasers are shooting things down quite well, actually. I just wasn't really able to notice it before for some reason. I'm not sure why. Mm, you're a little bit of a pain. Oh, never mind. Uh, something came back and smacked you in the face. I don't even think that was one of ours. In fact, I'm fairly certain that's one of yours. What? The, what? That's just cruel, man. I mean, I know, I know it's just a plebeian sailing on the, on the ocean, whereas you're a majestic cork th flying through the air, but seriously, the, your own team. They must be stressed. They're cannibalizing their own. But I think it is the end for you. Oh, that's going to hit me smack on top. Yikes, that was painful. That did a lot of damage. That just wiped out a whole chunk. Oh, no. That is an enormous amount of damage. I think the Eric Martin right at the end there was finally overwhelmed. Oh, you did so well. If there were two of you, you would have won. But there's nothing much you can do now. Oh, actually, your laser system is still engaging. Which is amazing. But I think the only thing I can do here is retreat you. You're down to 60%. We're going to retreat you from battle. That was a crazy fight there. Oh, man. Most of you has been left behind. Oh, well. Let's uh, see where you are. That was that was an awesome battle, though. As, as mad as it was, that was fantastic. All right, let's get you over there. You should have a, enough of an ability to get there on your own steam. Uh, where am I right now? I'm standing atop you. Very well. Let's bring everything into play. You back out of play. And don't worry. Don't worry. It, it, you have nothing to be ashamed of, Eric Martin. You did fantastically well against overwhelming forces. And it was only right at the end that you were taken out. You, you, you slew many. But uh, thankfully, the retreat option prevented you from being completely wiped out. Uh, you're only up to 83%. Well, scallywag. Let's see, how are we doing down here? Oh, why are you in the water? It's probably because you're heavy now. Uh, yes, more than likely. Okay, well, there are a few things that we need to address. I'm not entirely certain about the, the uh, laser defense system there. Felt like that could have worked a lot better than it did. Uh, let's bring you out of the water a bit. Your engine should have more than enough power to do so. Let's bring you up a little bit more. There we go. Alright, there we are. Now, as for you... It's going to be a little while before you're both finished, but... Ah, oh, man. So bad. Letting you get taken out like that. I do feel <laughs> remarkably responsible for that. My hubris led us to that... That... that uh, fight and led you to getting your face smashed in. I should have abandoned that battle when I saw everything coming for you. But uh, on the plus side, we now know how much punishment a Sobrak can take. And it's, you know, quite a lot, actually. But whilst we wait for the Sobek to be 
constructed, because it hasn't even finished being built yet, and for the Eric Martin to get back to base so it can be repaired, I think we're going to wrap up that episode there. We will be renaming the new Sobek in the next episode, based on the master name list, as mentioned before, Chaotocles, it is your time to shine. But until then, and as always, do take care.